Why do you have 48,700 HP? Wait, what is this build? All right, we're making this into a video. It's because of you sh yell on builds. And this, what is this recharge? Looks like we're gonna be probably doing the chunk of reviews today. <laughs> Linny is hot shyj. The first great magic, okay. Four Mara Sussy, C4, oh sh Whoa, triple crown, you like him a lot. Whoa, that's a good strategy. Whoa, that's a good attack. That's actually higher attack than I see from most Linny's. Linny has pretty low base attack. That's pretty good, 99.5 current. This is pretty solid. Could have more crit damage, obviously, but I, I like the distribution to attack percent. Stats, 16 attack, nice. 16 attack again, Jesus, okay. Attack main stat with crit damage, recharge, no crit rate, but it's all good. Okay, what the f is your problem? You cringe high roller. Actual cringe high roller, okay. That's fine, I guess. Okay, dude, this guy is actually cringe high roller. He can run two artifacts with no crit rate and have 63.5%. The fact that this build is like not even full potential is like bothering me a little bit. You're cringe, dude. Your timepiece sucks. Get a better timepiece. Maybe I should take my own advice. Let's get a better timepiece. Forehead. Candace. Did you actually build Candace? All right, which way did you build Candace though? Crit attack Candace? No way, bro. Triple crowned Candace and doesn't even C6. Damn, that's actual dedication. Triple crowning a four star. Jeez. Jesus. Pieces are really, really strong in the crit damage department. Don't see that very often. What'd you do? 16 defense. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate. That's pretty solid. That's unlucky on the crit damage roll. You also got a dead HP roll, but EM is good. Hydro Goblet? You really did put your best on her. That is onset hydro, good stack goblet. And that is a pretty damn good mask too. Okay. The uh, only thing is the flower. Timepiece, you don't even gain that much by improving this, to be honest, unless you rolled more crit rate. The flower is just the best thing because if you get one to two rolls of crit rate, it will be the most noticeable difference for you because it'll push you up to 70%, maybe. Crit damage is in a good spot. And yeah, it's pretty good. This is very clearly an attack-based Candace that focuses on normal charge attacks. Please bully me into building my Alhatham. Lo-fi 80. I don't know why that's not 90. I'll hate them himself should be 90 and level to 90 for maximum spread damage. Two flower paradise, two deep, but that's not bad. I think that's passable. Captain Hindsight, ain't no way you C6 this guy and then left him at 80, 80. Did you forget that he exists? Crit rate needs help. Why does he have 175 <laughs> recharge? Dendro Goblet is Pog though. What's your timepiece? I see. Um, yeah, let's try to get elemental mastery on that. That'd be very poggers. How are the other pieces? This one just rolled like sh but it's stat wise not bad. That one, this is actually good. 33 with an extra roll and EMS good. It's a really good piece. Goblet, I mean, it could be worse. Mask is good. Okay, dude, your build is fine. What the f is this? Dude, your build is like literally like fine except for this. Also, try to get 70% crit rate. That would involve. Can you just like get 14 crit right here? Like magically? Like, I don't know, man. He wants recharge, so it's fine in my opinion. But this piece already has 24% recharge and this guy's C6. He literally does not need recharge. Like if it was C0, then like it'd be like less of a reason. But at C6, he doesn't have a problem. Uh, 90-90, okay, looks good. Four emblem, okay, looks good. C6, bro really asked me for a review when they have a 92-10 build. So you asked me, should I use a 44 CV HP goblet? Okay, first it will be a damage increase, but you're gonna reduce your recharge to like 130. Are you okay with that? That's my thoughts. Like your other pieces are probably really good, so I don't need to check them, even though I am checking them. Oh, uh, your mask is mid. Yeah, I mean, your pieces are pretty solid. I don't know about sacrificing this recharge though. You're already like on the lower end of a C1 plus build. So it's okay. I don't think it's worth it. It will do more damage, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay. All right, guys, we got a flex gun you. 327 EM, Aqua Simulacra, four Wanderers Troop, C09. Bro, this build is wild, dude. Bro has 7,300. Yeesh. Okay. Wow, that's a pretty piece. Wow, that's a hell lot of re a crit rate you got there on two pieces. Okay, that one is probably one of your worst pieces. 
It's not even that bad, though. It's still 33-ish. Onset Goblet, of course, guys. Wow. 16 crit, 16 crit, 16 crit. How cringe do you have to be to have this? Three 16 plus crit pieces on the same build. They're all f***ing Wanderer, dude. What? I see. Some people are just built different, I guess. Miss Splitter, two Thundering, two Shim, C4, triple crown, based Kaching Enjoyer. That's crazy. 85 crit effective with uh, burst activated. Build looks pretty damn good. Bro has almost a 1.9 Kaching. Wow, that's actually disgusting. What the f***? Chad, the, he has the OG build. Two thundering, two attack. Holy f***. I just decided to look at the time beast because like, what the f***, man? Like, it would have already been wild without the extra recharge roll, but like, with the extra recharge roll, it's just like, what the f*** is that? Nice build, man. That's a crazy ka -ching. Bro, Goro mains are scary as f***. Whenever I see a person that wants a review for Goro, it's always this Giga Chad C6 triple crown fat crit rate crit damage build. And I just still to this day don't understand how it even does damage. The flower is perfect. Crit, extra defense roll, and recharge. Uh, the feather sucks, but that's pretty easy to upgrade. Time piece is great. Goblet's insane. And mask is okay. Well, I mean, once you get a better feather, you're going to be even stronger than this. Everything else is pretty crack. Wow, nice Goro. Yellow got a new feather. New feather, eh? How's your build again? This Disgusting. How's your feather? 35.7 crit damage. <sighs> One day that'll be me, guys. One day that'll be me, guys. Haha. <laughs> All right, Aqua again. Uh, 90. Okay, C0. Okay. What the? F okay, can you crown her burst so that it doesn't look that bad? Like I'm gonna be honest. Like, like, can you crown her burst so I, like don't flame you? Like, yes, her E is, like, the largest single hit damage. So if you want a damage per screenshot, yes. But, like, two nymphs, two more cautious. Okay, it's two-piece, two-piece. You better have good stats. What if he did it on purpose to trigger me? Okay, you know what? Right now, the build is already, like, dying in the, in the sands because it's 127 recharge. We need assistance on the recharge part. Well, then, that's not that easy to replace. Okay, 15 recharge there. That is your standard piece. And that has 11 recharge. Oh, dear. So this is a problem. Problem, okay, your recharge is a massive problem. Here's like more of the issue with your build So your build is lacking 20% recharge from two-piece emblem and doesn't have a recharge timepiece So you are behind about 70% recharge, especially because you're C0 Usually we would solve this with a timepiece, but your timepiece is too good of a stat I think the only way to solve this issue is uh, I guess you're just gonna have to buy your way to Constellation 6 Make her a main DPS and run double triple hydro that's just unlucky bro damn should i just see six well i mean i wasn't the one who said that you, you you said that before i did truthfully though this build would be more manageable if it was on four piece emblem but i understand that it's that your stats right here are super good four piece emblem would allow you to get away with just going c1 with 140 percent recharge which is you know it's 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 fine that's why two piece emblem is so important on yellon because it skips uh an important substat that otherwise would be annoying to get yai miko's booba bro your Yai Miko is actually disgustingly good. Like, I'm gonna be real. I wouldn't even complain about the attack goblet since you have C6, you have Golden Troop. It's like actually not even a damage loss. I think you're just done, dude. Like, you should just stop farming. Like, I think it's just done. Because Golden Troop provides you so much elemental damage bonus. Yeah, I think it is done. I think you can stop. There is an unusually high amount of C6ers in my chat. Maybe it's because I will so much in the game that I just like invite C6 sixers i guess i don't know dude this guy has an 80 280 build i'm not even gonna say anything i don't even want to say anything because he didn't even flex it so we're looking at kaching here uh har and futsu okay okay pretty solid four thundering fury okay c6 triple crown okay good build or i think this crit damage is lower than i would i would expect the crit rate is amazing because it's 96 percent but i think the crit damage has a little bit of room to improve let me see the overall stats though before i comment four thundering fury is also really really good so uh that's a perfect piece that's just a that's that's this is a really good piece but it's a little unlucky 34 cv 44 em it's like overall still oh. good though suffering from low roll is what this kaching is looking like it's doing that is a perfect Perfect goblet. Wow. Okay. It's just the crit rate could have been 10%. Yeah, I think you're just missing a little bit of rolls. 
Otherwise, it's as good as it can really be. One, two, one plus two, plus two, five percent maybe? Maybe five percent marker damage? It's done though. It's a nice build. Very, very strong. Almost zero wasted stats. You said, wow, no way, insane damage, YouTube short, yell on dysfunctional, no e. <laughs> He really called himself out with dysfunctional ER. This Yellon is like a Megumin from Konosuba. She f ultimates and then is out for the next f day because she can never get her ult back. That's what this f build is. So this build has 20 rolls of crit rate and 11 rolls of crit damage and boasts 1.95. Five or something near equivalent. Let me see how good this is. It's a 1.95 build. So he's running 44 flower. Bro, your build is trash because of that. I just want to tell you. Like, I, yeah, you may have the best CV that I've seen on a Yellon, but my God, what the hell is this horrendous ER, man? This time piece is the most disgusting time piece I've ever... What the fuck is this? All right, your goblet is whatever. Chat, look at his crit rate rolls. Max, max, min, max, max. And then he has a flat HP roll. Wow, nice build, bro. Aqua. Okay, dude. Kindsight really just wanted to C6 R5. Two nymph, two heart of depth. No four piece M. Why do you have 48,700 HP? Okay, your HP goblet. I got that. Wait, what the f is this build? Why do you have? <laughs> All right, we're making this into a video. It's because of you. Sh Yell on builds. And this, what is this recharge? All right, so we got 48 CV here. Wait, what is your artifact? All right, one point. Ah, dude, this build, man. Like, what's your mask? Okay, your mask is actually reasonable. 17 HP with 20 crit damage is actually insane. That's actually an insane piece. All right, that's insane piece. Are all of your pieces four line? Every single one? That's four line. That's four line. That's four line. That piece sucks. <laughs> okay, dude. Like... Yes, I did ask for consistent crits, but like I do not ask for like negative five recharge, all right? And like I'm gonna be honest, energy recharge onset timepiece is not that hard, right? Right, guys? Right, right, right? Sedge, I know it's hard. So you want me to use this instead, <sighs> Pepe La? Oh, yeah, why what why not? What the f show yours, your mom. Wait, Chad, this toast is actually what the f Wait, this toast is crazy. Wait, this is a hella optimized toast. Wow. You won't have your ult up though, but the CV is insane. Nice build. Can you check my Linny? Okay, okay, okay. I remembered, I remembered. Great magic for a Mara Sussy. This is a very good Mara Sussy build. There's nothing that I... Let's, let's see. Let's see the stats. Let's see the stats. All right. Uh, should I swap this goblet for a better one? <laughs> I mean, listen. What is this doing? <laughs> How... <laughs> Like, what is this piece giving you? Like, be real. Like, do you really need the extra recharge? <laughs> only problem is my best onset flower is 20 CV, crit rate only. Oh, wait. Wait, in that case, don't switch it. Okay, unironically, it's fine. Just keep it for now. You'll eventually get maybe like a one crit damage line, power damage bonus goblet, and that might just be your upgrade, okay? Yeah, just consider that. Otherwise, it's pretty solid. All right, my Raiden. Actual real review. Oh my God. Four piece emblem. C0, okay, okay, actual real review. Just kidding, it's a fake review. None of you guys need reviews, dude. It's all fake. The build is great. There's actually a really good uh, C6 Sara plus Raiden build. Yeah, and the artifacts are probably giga cracked because the 1.7. You know, I could really use that on my Yellon. I'm just letting you know. Would you like another Yellon for your video? All right, Lady Thalia, how good is it? <sighs> C3, all right, not a C6 build, it is triple crown, does have four piece emblem, okay, is aqua, 36k, this, this is really good HP, okay. You also have a hydro goblet with, okay, your recharge sucks. So you have HP hydro crit, damn, that is clean 1.7. You could probably still make this a little bit better. I see, never mind, I mean, okay, all right, okay, sure. Uh, okay, not, not your average build, I guess. Okay, you could still make this better. <laughs> Unironically, could actually still make this, this doesn't have current on it. You actually actually still make it better. Wow, that's it, that, 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 I would love that piece. 12 recharge, 30, 35 CV, okay. That one's okay. Yeah, this one's, this one's mid. Compared to all your other pieces, this Hydro Goblin's mid. This is great for an attack DPSer, but for Yellon, it's not the best. I see. All right. 
All right, guys. I can't get good feathers. I mean, that feather is like, like your goblet's actually your worst piece, in my opinion. Like, it, like it is low roll and it's also like 30, 35. And yeah, so the recharge is on the low side. I would say that like, this is like, the CV is really good, but CV is not everything. I forgot about Afro's Ayaka. Okay, okay, last one, last one, last one, last one. Miss Splitter, a Blizzard, a C2, Triple Crown. Wait, 144 recharge. Okay, you had to sacrifice your crit damage for this, but that recharge is really, really, really nice. Um, you are one substat over on the crit rate. I will say that. What's your mask? 22 recharge. Okay, that's juicy. Like that. Holy f wow, what a f flower, dude. Yeah, that is a actual f like blessed flower 60 flat defense is the only thing i notice on here it does have 35 cv but it has 60 flat defense okay this piece is pretty mid crown goblet is also like okay so i see i see what happened here lots of recharge substats but you had to go crit rate mask which forces your other pieces to have little to no crit rate or else it's over capped so if it were me i would only change the goblet i mean the timepiece sorry only change this it's got extra hp roll and it's also got low roll crit damage it has the highest chance of being better and uh you only need two stats on it you only need crit damage and recharge you don't need attack so like yeah